Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to oh, Farming Simulator after a long, long break. Got to looking at uh, dates. I don't think I've played this for about seven months. So I popped into it last night for a little while just to remind myself how the game works. Um, in November, there's a big update coming. The Platinum Edition of this game is coming out, and they're going to add... A, uh, a map of, of, uh, of a farm in South America, including all new landscapes, new plantings, um, the, the cows that they've got down there. I'm trying to think of the name of them now. Um, I wanted to say it looks a little bit like a water buffalo. And then they're going to add sugar cane as a crop. And it'll be quite different. I've, there's never been a, a map like that in Farming Simulator, so it'll be a brand new experience. And I want to have a series of that going. But um, let me fire this thing up and drive a little while I'm while I'm talking. See if I can go backwards and talk at the same time. <laughs> um, Murphy plays has just picked up this game and and he's thinking about a series. We've been talking about it, and that's got me thinking more and more about this and kind of you know, homesick for this game. I want to want to play it again. So I'm gonna jump in and have some fun. I gotta remind myself what we were doing though. Uh, I don't even know what's in the fields right now. I know we've got the three fields over here. We've got, let's see here, which button is it? Escape? Yeah. So we've got these guys with canola and soy and wheat right in here. And how soon before growing, last stage of growth right here. Otherwise, just planted in middle. We've tried to stagger these guys so they all hit at different times. That's right. And then we own 13 and 9. We just picked up those. And we bought all the coon equipment. We used that to get all this uh, plowed and harvested uh, and uh, sown. So that's over there ready to go. We cut off the triangle and planted that in grass. So we just had to worry about this part. I remember that now. And then uh, we picked up this little guy. And what do we do in those? Over here, that's barley. Because I think it had already been planted in barley, if I remember right. Over here we did sunflower. And what is that? That's soybean. Okay. So for the rest of this series, really what I wanted to do was to just cover all the other topics that we haven't done yet. So get greenhouses and set them up. And let's see. Let's pop out of... Well, let's not pop out of this yet. Um... Field 3 over here has not been planted. Uh, yeah, we've got barley in here, but nothing in there. It's the same color as the grass. So this one has just been cultivated. These two are owned by the same person. And we talked about getting this group or this group, one or the other. This, These two are growing with wheat and sunflower. We could let that finish. How far away is it? Uh, growth, they've just kind of started. Okay. I want to plant potatoes. I want to buy pigs. And pigs require... Potatoes and sugar beets. We've got canola, sunflower, soy, wheat, and barley. We've got all this for their food. We don't have potatoes or sugar beets. Right... there zero okay so we've got no way to finish off the uh, the food for the pigs in order to max out the productivity so we need to get a field of one of those this guy being not planted just cultivated we could immediately pick up oh, probably the potato harvesting why do I have the memory of doing sugar beets what, what color are sugar beets Seems like we planted that. Or am I just thinking of, of doing a, a contractor job for another farmer? Um, sugar beets are white. We don't own these three. So no, we didn't just do that. Seven months is a long time to, to push back through those brain cells to figure out what we were up to. But um, plant potatoes, I'm thinking. And maybe buy three and four. And get the potatoes going. Harvest them, buy pigs, and get the whole pig industry going. 
and then probably a major logging operation here or here that utilizes the train I mean just trailers and trailers full of logs and bring it all over to the sawmill one maybe hour-long episode of just logging that'd be a lot of fun and then along with the the logging is the let's see if I remember where that button was that's right P for shop is the poplars where would that be I know harvesting would probably cover it at the end it does not okay um, back poplars that's right we have more to see that's why I'm not seeing them okay you're probably down at this end poplars we have a planter and we have a harvester and I am scratching my head after all this time I know we, you buy them here right there pallet saplings no poplar saplings pallet right there so these are trees you cut with a chainsaw I believe and these are ones that you harvest with what let me try to read through these miscellaneous I doubt miscellaneous no that's not it no don't go to the garage thank you back 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 okay tell us steering um, forestry I don't think it was in here well it might be you probably plant it with the same thing that plants the trees which was here um, trees into the ground I'm pretty sure that will do the those as well so what do we have for harvesters is he in here um, that's a shredder right wish the name was out here besides the brand a little more of a description yeah it's a, it's a wood chipper um, I'm not seeing a harvester so when we get to that point we'll uh, we'll figure that out but that's probably the last major topic of something we've not done we've done all the animals now except the pigs we need to get the greenhouses in see how that works we've done pretty much all the crops I believe except for the poplars and the uh, potatoes and, and soybeans or uh, sugar beets but I think that's where we need to go with this series and then with when that's done we'll end up just starting to repeat everything and we've pretty much bailed everything we've silaged we've done quite a bit of all of that what to do this time let's let's drive up to field three and, and take a look at it maybe purchase it now, I don't remember how we got the four million dollars in the account I remember a one million that uh, decided to do rather than trying to force this game to pay us enough to be able to buy another field just go ahead and, and get it bought and so we can start just enjoying the game not worrying about limitations so I don't remember going to four million but I guess if I went back and watched the last episode it might make sense either that or accidentally hit uh, well, what's what's the key command for the the mod that gives you the million dollars seems like it's control alt and honk the horn or something maybe somehow I was accidentally holding the control alt while I honked a horn one time don't know <laughs> anyway I've disabled that mod so there's no way to add more to that accidentally all right, past this road here, which heads to the pig farm, and those are the ones we just bought over there. So the corn, I got anybody behind me? I well, will soon. Let's back up, and my right is my left, and my left is my right, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we've got this skinny one here that's going to be sunflower, and over there we've got soy. And then we've put grass into this, this triangle over here. That should grass out when it's done and I'll be able to mow this area maybe do a little more silage before we're finished otherwise I'm losing my uh, uh, losing my foot pedal over there I didn't get the steering wheel up and going yet okay let's not take the sign out um, it's odd I got it hooked up and it used to be that when I turned the computer on the wheel would spin from one side to the other I think I needed that turn back there and yeah I think no it's up here okay gas station so this is four and three let's go this way anyway the steering wheel used to turn on and spin back and forth whenever I turn the computer on and now it doesn't do that anymore I do get a very dim glow of the uh, of the Logitech emblem in the middle of the of the steering wheel but it doesn't respond to any of the games so I go into device manager and it seems to find it and acknowledge it and says all the drivers are up to date so I'm not sure 
what I've got to do to get that working again. This is three. This is the one that's cultivated and ready to be dealt with. There's a farmer out here somewhere. Seems like Peter Wood was the one that owned these two. Uh, that's probably wanting me to plant something. Hmm. I guess we could check to see if he wants to plant potatoes. If not, then we could just buy it and plant our own. That sounds like a plan. Let me pull off over here. So I don't think it'll talk to me if I'm in the way of the equipment. Uh, that off. E. Let's walk over here and see what he has to say. Now, is it E or R? It's R. Peter Wood. Well, howdy. I've got a bit of a situation. You may be just the person to help. See, I've got to spend some time prigging myself up. Good luck with that. Well, never mind what for, but point is, something's come up and I need to look my Sunday best. So I, so now I need someone to pinch hit for me and sow a field. What are you sowing? You're not going to tell me. That guy doesn't plant potatoes, I can say that. So let's just do it. We haven't worked down his price. If we had done a number of jobs, I think it's 20. It's at least 10 jobs. You lose a chunk each time. He eventually builds up, and, and each time that you increase favor with him, his price drops that he'll charge you for the field. And we have done that for quite a few of the other fields over there. Joshua, I can think of his last name. We did. We took him all the way to the top of the bar. Got His field's real cheap. But um, we don't really have time to pull that off right now. But when you're playing this for yourself and you're not trying to run a YouTube series, it's definitely worth doing these odd jobs here. Bank the money. Uh, he would have paid, looks like, almost $6,000 for you to run the, the sower up, up back and forth a few times. Although, what is that? That is a sower. Pretty sure. We're not talking about fertilizing here, are we? Um, sow a field, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's a seed planter there. Um, so a number of these jobs and you'd get, you know, maybe 50 to a hundred thousand by the time you, you take the, you know, take it through this whole process here of all these jobs. So it's definitely worth doing it. But for our purposes, I'm going to just buy this. So we are now the proud owners of field number three. And I am thinking potatoes is the route we want to go. Go out and walk on our land here, get a feel for it. This was a good area for grass, wasn't it? Was this the one? No, I'm thinking of the one across from the pig farm. Uh, back to our map. Pig farm. Right here was a good grassy area. Although, well, this is probably all wooded right here, right? Uh, escape. Yeah, we could take the trees out of this and mow this area. Hate to buy a field just to grass it out. We did that for field 11 because it was convenient. But uh, you kind of wish there were just wide open spaces somewhere that you could just bring your mower over and, and grab some grab some grass. <laughs> All right, let's start this up and head over to the shop and and uh, see just what the potato planting. Uh, wow, I'm all over the place. Much easier when you're in the cab perspective of where you are now the shop from here and it's 35 in here isn't it yeah about like that the shop from here I think we want to grab this right right I don't remember now that's right nine makes my map bigger that's right I'm kind of remembering how all this works where are we we're up there at the very top huh we got a long way to go no matter what we do let's go straight and just take the loop around yeah, I think so. 9-9. Nine, nine. I'll let this guy go by so we can pass him. Where are you going? You are going, yep. And we'll just go right around you. And we're clear. Alright, 35 in here. What is that sign? Um, that say bears? Look like a picture of a bear, like a bear crossing. Maybe I'm wrong. It wasn't a deer. Uh, we'll head around the uh, the outside of the map here, kind of get a feel for the scenery, and I think that heads up to a camping area. we we'll back on the road here. Yeah, it's much easier to steer with a steering wheel, that's for sure. When I have had it working, it it was 
very enjoyable, very satisfying, but there just aren't enough buttons on the steering wheel to accommodate all the different things that you do in this game. So it's kind of like a, a controller uh, in the center of the steering wheel. And I've never used controller, so I'm not used to it. I'm sure that there's enough buttons there if you know to, I don't know, hold this button down and hit that one twice or you know, multiple combinations in order to pull it off, but that's not something I'm used to. I'd rather do the WASDQE. I can reach the R and the F and down there at the C and you know, I've got, you got a dozen buttons right there at uh, at your disposal. Space bar for, well, usually for jumping or pausing. So, it's hard to get used to running a controller when you've always done a keyboard. We're getting close. Here's the uh, the hotel. So just over this hill, we should start seeing town. Go over there to the shop and see what potato harvesting is all about. There's a special planter. Got to check to see that we don't own one. I know we already own a planter that'll do sugar beets. I just don't remember if that also does potatoes. If so, then that cost has already been uh, covered. No point in buying it twice. Unless there's a really neat piece of equipment we haven't tried yet, which is probably what that $4 million is really for. This one? Yeah. This is how we get there. We gotta wash this windshield. We gotta wash this truck. Now this is the the one that if I let off on the gas pedal, it just stops almost immediately. It doesn't coast. They need to coast. Got a brake pedal. Should be able to have to reach over and actually hit that brake pedal. Instead, I just have to let off. I'm sure there's an adjustment somewhere I can tweak to make that work. Let's park over here and go see what's what's available. Something like that. Oh, I guess I should turn it off before I do that. That's right, I had a button on my mouse that turned it on. I don't remember what those buttons were anymore. Morgan's Massive Motors. Sounds like a car dealership. That's not it. R? I guess I get on, to get on top of it. Okay, potatoes. Let's go back to the beginning here. Ah, potato harvesting. That's pretty simple. Now, planting. I want sowers. Sewing machines. Um, garage is right here. Okay. So if we find the one that we've already got, I can't WASD to move around here. Um, you are... See, I'm wanting to get out into... You? Back. I see, I can choose this way. So we've got this guy. And this guy does not do soy, or a sweet potato. This does. But what does sweet potato does not do potatoes. That's what I needed to know. The grimy... Grimy? Does the potatoes. Right. You're the $58,000 version. You are the $21,000 version. Differences? Three meters wide, so nine feet... 88 horsepower is what's the minimum tractor requirement. Okay, so this guy, 125, well, oh, there we go, 170 horsepower. Don't have those memorized anymore, but I'm sure we've got something that can handle that. Seems like we've got one that's in around the 200 mark. This does 18 feet wide. That sounds pretty impressive. And... Did Kuhn have one that dealt with that? I don't remember. Yeah, they did have one. Who was it? You? No. You were what? Additional tank for one of these guys. And there was that plow attachment that sat in between. That was kind of fun. You... Now, Kuhn does not have one that does that. So we are sitting right here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so 170. Select. Uh, no options. Nothing to change. And buy. And I didn't bring a tractor over, did I? You got a ball hitch, kinda. No, you've got a pin and, and latch. Okay. Um, you sure? Yeah, let's do that. Then let's OK and back up and harvest. Wouldn't it be nice if this could hook up the uh, the sower and just haul it back? What do you want to bet it doesn't? You 
RA harvester that does a little tiny bit on the side. I think we're going to go for this guy just to see it work. This one, what are you? Before potatoes can be harvested, the foliage needs to be cut. Okay, so this tops everything off and this digs down inside, pulls it up and drops it in on a narrow little path. This does, I'm pretty sure, a path about twice as wide. You're two meters and you are not going to, three meters. Okay, so six feet versus nine feet. I guess something the size of field um, three, I'm going to move my mic over a little bit in case I'm only speaking out the left side. Might be. I'm staring at the screen right now. I've got to get back to, it's been a while since I've recorded on a regular basis. I'm going to start doing that again here soon. Not yet. I've got a couple of big trips to do. Uh, heading to Canada for almost a week and heading to California a couple of weeks later. So after that, about the end of this month, end of September, I should be able to get back into a more regular basis of recording, getting an ep a video or two a day out. Um, I was saying field three is big enough that the three feet difference between the two, the one meter difference is actually going to make quite a bit of difference. The time we add another third of the rows to that field. Yeah, let's go this route. Let's go ahead and spend it. Let's have fun. Select no upgrades. You spend that much money, you can't change the color. Ha! Huh. Bye. Yes, and okay. Anything else? Potato is not a specific seed, right? Let me verify that. Seems like seed is seed. Yep, yeah, it is. Okay. And yeah, we could do the pigs just by doing this. But that's not the way I want to do it. I don't want to do it for real. Potatoes. Is there anything I'm forgetting? <clears throat> going to plant it. We're going to top it. We're going to dig it up. We're going to haul it. Well, we'll see what we've got. I, I do remember. I do remember. We hauled in a whole bunch of potatoes. I'm certain we did. It took forever. All kinds of trailers went into the, 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 the carports there at the farm. That memory's coming back. What do we do with all those? It says we have, it says we have none because it doesn't record it. That's right. We've got potatoes. What's in our garage? Do we have all the potato equipment already? Or do we do some sugar beets? This is our garage. What do we have? Boy, you take seven months off. <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like either one of them. You, what are you? You are a sugar beet. Okay. We've got sugar beets already in preparation for the pigs. That's right. Okay, let's pull out of here. We got these guys to get home, and there's no hint whatsoever of a trailer hitch back here. No, so I've got two trips to make to get these guys home. But before I do that, I got to go home anyway to get a tractor. But let's go see if we truly do have sugar beets already hiding over there underneath the carport. We'll, we'll head through town to get there. Uh, I could kind of make that one. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> of course, I do that and I push my pedals out from under me. Alright, this one's pretty tricky over here because these guys don't obey stop signs. They make me obey stop signs, but they don't. I'm sure it's the speed limit's not 40 in here. There we go. Woo! I'm taking it. Ha <laughs> ha Beacha. Alright, probably not safe to pass inside a city unless there's not an intersection nearby. Yeah, we'll go for it. Yeah, we're kind of on the outskirts of this of town. Yeah, that'll work. Let's pull in here real quick. How are the sheep doing? I haven't seen them for months. Now, I didn't do a test video before doing this. Hopefully nothing has changed with the game, and I'm actually recording something. Hopefully my voice is coming through, and the mouse is coming through, and it isn't just a black screen I'm going to discover. Every once in a while something like that happens. These guys, let's go see, check out their cleanliness. Yeah, we could clean that up. 
Don't remember what equipment's over here, though. Let's just park this guy. And make it feel like I've actually accomplished something more than just buying a potato harvester today. Yeah, we got a bit of a mess here. Need to dump this back into the trough. And we've got the tele... Tele... What is this thing called? That's the Malibu... Tele what? Boy, it's been a long time. Telehandler. Is that what they're called? Let's see if this will give me a clue. Why can't I... There I can. Telehandler, I think is what you're called. You are a telehandler. Yes. That's not a word that I have ever used in real life. I've only seen it in this game. So I don't know if that's more of a European name for something that, that we use here, or if that is a industry standard worldwide. That's not, uh, not something that rolls off my tongue that easy. Anyway, am I inside? I am inside. Now, boy. Ah, hey, you push down the, uh, the, the scroll wheel and you, that's my ignition. Okay, but so you can't hear from how loud, you know, Chomper is over here. Man, I'm going to get in here and remind myself, right click down, side to side does nothing, in and out, in and out does that. Okay, so what swivels? Uh, left click down, left click down, there it is. Okay, pull out a little... Drop you like so, and let's jump into the cab. Oh, that's going to be a challenge. All right, let's see what I can break here. I'm going to line myself up a little bit. Not hit the shed. What's behind me? Yeah, we're okay. Okay, something like watching the shadow there, trying to gauge my distance. Okay, left click comes down. Oh, you can see the, the shocks. Ho-ho! Like my ride. <laughs> Got my low rider here. And I cannot tell if I do that till we tap and then lift a little. That should do it. Alright. Let's pull that through. We should see. Yep, 13%. There's. No, that's not percent. That's uh, liters, I think. Alright. I'm going to pull up like so. And lift it. Let's see if I can back up. And just eat my way through. Nope, I'm already hitting. All right, I'm too close to to be able to turn into that directly. Oh, all-wheel steering. That's right. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it turns on a dime. Okay, extend out. Tip. Am I far enough? I think I... Oh, I'm too far. Did I really dump it in there? I really did. No, I've got some on me still. Let's try that. No, nope, I've got to back up a little bit. It is hard to do it in the cab. The game doesn't do a great job, at least for me, of giving you a good perspective of where everything is. I want you up higher, and let's rotate you down to like so. Oh, we've got more than enough food I won't accept anymore. That's what's up. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to spin on a dime. And we're going to dump us a little pile over here. There we go. So, I think we're looking a lot happier there. Food is full. Let's... Eh, let's back this guy back in and go check the water. I could check the chart and see how it all is, but... I could do this, too. Alright, you down... You probably up something like that. That'll work. Anyway, I was starting to say at the beginning. I don't think I ever finished my sentence that uh, Murphy might be uh, doing this this series soon. So if he does, um, definitely want to head over there and and, uh, and watch watch his. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, off E. I know I will be. That's a fun game. Real relaxing game. <laughs> I mentioned to Catherine I'm going to be doing this one. And she said this one uh, kind of put her to sleep. This is so relaxing. It's back and forth. Well, this will make you nauseous, but back and forth with the tractor is uh, quite uh, hypnotic. It always put me to sleep, that's for sure. Where is the water? I, I ran right past it right at the beginning. You're looking pretty good. Let's see what the official uh, stats are here. Over to the animals. Sheep. Cleanliness, still 17%? 
after all that? All right, all right. Let's go do it for real. That little bit right there. Really? Okay. Well, we'll do it from outside so that... Let's see. There's my start. So I can do this quicker. You... My, wow. That goes quick. Up a little. Oh, I'm backwards. That's what's wrong. Okay. Let's drive out of there. All right. Let's run back and forth a couple times and get all this. There we go. Now, cleanliness only has to do with their feeding area. So, there's really nowhere else to, to clean up. Okay. Let's grab this row over here a little better. Yeah, there wasn't much there. It was really odd. <clears throat> I bet it hadn't reset yet. That might be what it is. There is a, a, a time delay in this. So that's probably a dump you out. And for the sake of time, so I'm already a half hour into this episode. Wow. I haven't done anything yet. Let's turn you off and jump out. All right, so these guys are fine. Let's go check out those sugar beets. Sweet potatoes. Sugar beets? Yeah, I'll never, I'll never know. Started this series calling them sweet potatoes. Because in in uh, Farming Simulator 13, when they first introduced those, I thought that's what they were. I thought that's what the graphic looked like. And I guess I never really saw it anywhere written. we got to deal with that bill one of these years. Um, so I just went with the impression that's what it was. So now that's burnt into my brain. And the sweet potato starts with the same letter as sugar beets. And... Kind of the same number of syllables and two words, and yeah, it's. I'm toast. I'll never get that one right. Alright, back door of the farm here. It's possible that uh, I've got some, some new followers now, new subscribers that are going to jump into this series here at this episode. You know, I have no idea what number this is. I didn't look up the old. Uh, the old videos to see uh, where I left off. I told myself to do that, but I didn't. So, just know that you're starting in the middle of a rather long series already. So, get back to episode one, see uh, see the beginnings of this. Now, I dumped it into there, and we used this guy to... Oh! Is this the crop that we loaded up onto the train? Let's see here. What's the... Uh, We're here now. There's no special, well, whatever that was called. When you get a better price, Denton Bakery is asking for wheat, though that wasn't a great deal. We can already get more for it over here at the Maplefield Maplefield Mill, which is where we took these sugar beets to experience loading it into the train. I think that's one of the last episodes we did, and there went the sugar beets. So that mystery has been solved. We do need the potatoes. So let's park this guy and drive a tractor over there. And we'll leave the harvester. We'll just deal with the tractor. Or the uh, the sowing. I just got to thinking we're going to need seed. Let's... Nope, let's turn him off. And... Let's grab the big tractor. What was he called? I know we had a Massey Ferguson over there. We've got a couple of these guys. The... Uh, the case tractors, 1455, so we've got the uh, the New Holland. And you were the what? Um, the Dutch Far Warrior. Okay. I just remember it sounded really good, real throaty. Yeah. This is the beast. Now, yesterday when I fired this game up, I went ahead and cleaned up some of the bales we left over there in... in uh, Number 11. Uh, C gets me back inside. In field 11. And got to noticing that some of the tractors were out of gas. So I went ahead and gassed up a lot of stuff. Then I drove over with the gas tank and the pickup. Loaded it up and brought it back. Which got me used to driving again. I was all over the road. Trying to figure out these turns. It's really a, a matter of timing you've got to get used to. To do this with a keyboard. 
get used to it, you get pretty good. And it, it gets to where it looks pretty good. At first, though, you look like a noob. But uh, heading to the shop, just reminding myself, where am I going? And uh, we'll pick that up. There's a... I was about to say there's a new map out that I was impressed with, but now I... I'm trying to think of the name of it. West Coast? It's West Coast of England. Lots of little little farms. And uh, quite a community built into it along the coastline. And I haven't actually... I, I did download it. I haven't played it yet. You're in my way. I'm bigger than you. Actually, I'm quite bigger than you. Oh, let's get back over here. Whoa! Back into the cab. And... Um... I would love to do a series of that map. I need to load it up, maybe tonight after this episode, just to see what it looks like. You, you, okay, you stop there. I'm going to the end, right? Yeah. I don't know my own town now. And, uh, they're just... There are too many fun games and not enough of me. So... That looks interesting. It looks interesting in that you've got to really think about those narrow little roads they've got over there. And, you know, Vapor's got this game. Maybe he'll dive into that one. He'd, he'd be used to it. And, uh, uh... Just a whole different experience than American farming. Of course, that's why I want to do the South American one coming out. Alright, here we go. Let's go pick that up. And that's what I was going to say a little while ago when I stopped myself and changed... You know, rabbit trailed. We need to pick up uh, seed here so we can load this guy up right here. How many times have I gotten the sower... All lined up and ready to go, and there was no seed in it, and I had to just basically start all over again. Right there, like that, and Q, not Q. Q is a hard one for me to find. There we are, Q. There we go. Now, P. Let's get over to these guys and grab seed. Let's do two. That's a thousand, and this... Well, okay, I could do this. Garage, how big is this guy? Uh, what will he hold? He's the grimy, right? Right there. Of course, you're going to tell me it's grimy or, or grime or something. This guy. Um, this guy? No, not that guy. This guy. No, not that guy. Where's the sower? Where's the... Yeah, where's the sower? Harvester? Uh, digger? That's the topper. Okay, I'm not able to move anymore. Okay, we'll do it this way. You're in here. There you are. You hold 9,000. Whoa. Okay. Then let's go back and let's fill it. So you, that's not you. Seed, right there. You are 1,000. All right. Bye. Oh, so many steps. Please, next farming simulator, give me a a scroll or a you know, type in the number, the quantity that I want. I've already lost track of how many I bought. That was a lot of steps. Um, sure, yeah, stop, back, back. What I do to myself? Whoa. Okay, let's go fill this up. <laughs> Which button does the fill up? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the. Uh, the F1 cheat bar there and figure that out. Alright, we need to eek on in here as close as possible. Not that close. There we go. We'll grab these four first. Oh, even closer. Alright, that looks good. Um, Y is a popular one. No. R? Oh, R works. Now, we're putting all kinds of little, can't get in close, can I? Little seed potatoes going in. There they are. Little baby potatoes. That's R again. We'll just keep doing that till we fill it up. And we should see these guys disappearing as it goes. So, yeah, my business is finally slowing down for the year. So, we got these two trips to take. And, uh,. When that's done, I should be able to get back into uh, into more full-time, well, full-time for me, still part-time YouTubing. Love to get two episodes out a day. Have to set a schedule to pull that off. All right, 
3999. Someone took a potato out of there. Alright, can I back this up? Let's go this way first. A little further. Here we go. I was watching Night Ghost. I'm going to touch, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Uh, playing uh, uh, American Trucker on his Twitch stream the other night. That was a lot of fun. Watching him back up those semi trucks. <laughs> I can back up in real life too, but it is disorienting in a, when you're doing it with a WASD instead of a, wrapping your arms around a steering wheel and actually turning your head. It's not quite the same experience. Let's back up further. I want to make sure to grab those at that end before we fill up completely. Uh, we stopped at four and there's five left. We sh I, looks like about the right amount. It should work. But uh, do check his, his live stream on Twitch when you can. He's, uh, he goes Thursday, Saturday, and Monday nights at uh, 8.30 Mountain Time. He does Seven Days to Die on Saturday. Monday he'll do random games. American Trucker was one of them. Uh, Stardew Valley last time. And then his Thursday has been Darkest Dungeon. I don't know if he's going to continue that or move on to something else. But, uh, am I going... there's my forward. Is that close enough? Yes. Okay. But uh, he's fun to watch. He's got so many different voices. Uh, characters that he creates, like his Martha. and He's, he's making up new ones, too. There's some good ones in there. All right, I'm going to pull you in close. And twist this way. That should bring you right into there. You're not taking it. 100% full. 8220. What did I miss? I know I said 9,000 and something. Yeah, there's a typo somewhere in the game. Okay, you just stay behind. Let's bring this guy, although... I'm missing a step, aren't I? Well, let's deliver him. We need to plow that field. Yeah, there's there's another step or two. It'd be nice to... In fact, I turned on a mod. Oh, there's something we could try. I don't deal with a lot of mods. Usually just deal with mods of realism. You know, I want the tires to squish a little when they drive and get dirty and things like that. But, um, there is a mod that works more realistically with the manure. When you, I don't know where, it, can you buy manure in this game or do you have to make your own? I think you have to make your own. I don't think you can buy it. So we probably can't, uh, can't do it if we want to. But, um, if you spread the manure out first and then plow the field, it'll give you two stages of fertilizer instead of one. Which sounds a whole lot better than just spraying it out there and having a count. You should have to till that in. That's the way it, I believe it's done in real life. So that mod seemed appropriate to have. That's the way it should be done. And the game isn't already set up to do that. Let's see, how best do I get to the pigs, actually north of the pigs from here. Probably the best way is to go right past the farm. Yeah, I think so. So we'll go right past the farm, go up past the road that goes to the pigs. Don't you turn in front of me. And because they will do that. What are you up to? There we go. You can't trust these these uh, gold crest drivers. They're crazy. But um, get around this curve here. I'm back into my lane. There we go. Um, don't have a clue what I was saying. <laughs> this is Rambler and I. There's our farm. Just uh, recorded. That looked like that looked like it's ready to harvest. Um, just recorded another episode of uh, uh, Craft the World, and and she's really starting to enjoy that. Starting to get used to the idea of talking to the microphone, kind of. She still likes to sit back and relax and enjoy watching the game while I'm playing it there. And so she forgets to talk. That goes to the pig farm over there, and this is a dead end. Okay, we get to back up the trailer. Um, nope, 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 let's go to the other right. Yeah, this one is a short, short tongue. If you make a mistake, you're committed. So, may as well just pull forward and try again. Alright, we're going for it. I can't talk and back up. There we go. Clear, clear. So, we're going to have to go this way to go that way. 
pigs are up here. We'll have to go past them, and then, or we can just, you know, go uh, uh, overland right, right through the trees there. <laughs> it's just over there. But um, when this Craft the World map is done, I have a feeling we're just going to continue move right into the ice world. I think she would like to continue, and a lot of folks are enjoying the series, enjoying the game. It is a fun game, kind of a satisfying game. And uh, so we'll keep that series going through the through the winter. I would imagine to to hit all four maps, we're going to be well into January, or February. But probably won't be doing it on a daily basis. Maybe two or three times a week. All right, looking clear. Make this turn, and then when I get there and park this guy, we'll uh, we'll drive back and get the plow, and check the status of those fields. It looks like that. I think that was the soy field, and it's all yellow. So it could be that we're ready to do a quick harvest. Now I've got the time set on one speed. I left it that way because we're kind of running out of light. I wasn't sure what I was going to have to do tonight. I didn't want to finish it in the dark, and I didn't want the... Uh, like i got to check the speed of harvest. I want to slow that down so we can be doing things in between. I don't want all the fields to suddenly need to be harvested for the next five episodes, and that's all we do. I'm going to stall that off so we can do some more planting and things. But let's get this over here and part. Um, actually, let's pull in real tight here. Park it right over here. All right. So Q, and let's check that. Map. All right there. Stages of growth. We're looking for yellow. And 14 just went yellow. 14 was soy. Yep. Just like 13 just went. Wait a minute here. No, it didn't. What did I see when we were pulling up here? I saw this one. Five is ready to harvest. Five. Five is huge. You know how many times you go back and forth in this one? <laughs> I did it once at the very beginning of this series. I had to take it off. No, I think I time-lapsed and just did little snippets. You know, back and forth a few times, then over here, then over there, then over here, then over there. It took me over an hour to do that field. I was talking to myself and not even recording it the time I finished. I'm not doing five anymore. That's that's brutal. Um, so this guy's ready to be harvested. All right. Um, tell you what, I'm coming up on, whoa, 45, 50 minutes. Let's call this one an episode. I'm going to drive back, hook up the plow, and start recording the next episode. Um, no, I'm going to start harvesting that field over there. Once that's done, we'll hook up the plow, come back over here and plow this one. And what's the state of fertilization over here? I would imagine there's none. Growth, uh, it's this one here. So we're at three. Three needs to be plowed. And until that happens, although I can click this to turn that off. No fertilization either. So we got to do everything. Hmm. Oilseed radish would work really well there, wouldn't it? But we've got all of our potatoes out. I guess I could pull them under... Are there any buildings over here? What's this? Do we gain anything, or is that someone's house? It's weird how there's houses in between all these farms you can or fields you can buy. Yeah, there's nothing over there. We could put a uh, yeah next episode. I'll tell you what. I'll start right here next time. We'll fix this. We'll put ourselves some kind of a carport out here and park this guy under it, and yeah, that way we, we can stall a little bit. Don't have to worry about the potatoes getting rained on. Speaking of rain, that's right. In 17, we don't have the forecast anymore. We just have the, uh, I can't see it, the little sun right there that I've never figured out. <laughs> I think it's like a six hour delay when it changes. I'm not sure. Anyway, this has been Noble Rambler. I thank you guys for watching, and I'm going to jump right in to record the next one. Catch you later. Bye bye.